So I'm here with my good friend, Brian May from Queen, and we're both in quarantine, and together we're gonna to make the ultimate BLT. Good evening. Hey, Brian. Hi, folks. So what would you say your take is on this whole coronavirus? Uh, the news today is really enlightening. So instead of a, a few weeks where we've battened down the hatches, or even a few months, they're now saying, well, it's probably towards the end of the year before we can actually come out of our bunkers. Yeah, but this is uh, Britain. We're in the U.S. Things happen faster here. Um, I just want to talk about making the ultimate BLT. I'm taking the, uh, the self-isolation thing very seriously, as I think you have to. I think everybody has to cut down their social interactions as much as they can. Look, I agree with you 100%. I mean, I'm doing the same thing. We're quarantining ourselves, but at the same time, I think it's important that we give people something, something to be into. Hi, Brian. How are you? Hello, Maria. Stay healthy. Say hello. Say hello to the missus. Bye. Yeah, so that's what I think we have to do. I want to show people how to make simple food that's... You're brilliant, Brian. I, I mean, I'm so honored to have you here on the show. But anyway, what I want to do is teach people how to make the ultimate BLT, plain Huge BLT. Huge variety, which maybe I can work my way through. I don't think it's a good idea for me to pitch into. Well, you don't have to really worry about any of that, Brian. I mean, I'm going to handle all that. But the key here is to just show people how to make a classic BLT. And the difference yeah, is it's that... It's pretty hard to compute, I would say. Well, it's not, actually. Look. Just follow along and you're going to learn something here. Everybody who's watching is going to learn something here about the quality of a good BLT. A classic BLT is only made up of six ingredients and they all have to be excellent quality. Bread, bacon, lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, and salt. The bacon is going to take a while to cook, about a half an hour at 375 degrees in the oven. We don't want the bacon coming in contact with the aluminum, and we certainly don't want it cooking in its own grease. So you take a piece of parchment paper about twice the size of the pan, and you're going to fold it into an accordion. Let's talk a little bit about bacon. Rule number one, you should always and only use nitrate-free bacon. And if you can get organic, that's fantastic. When you're buying your bacon, make sure that sugar is above salt on the ingredient list. Otherwise, it could be too salty. And try to use thin bacon as opposed to thick cut for a BLT. I couldn't find any, so I just went with the thick cut this time around, and it's okay. 375 convection roast, timer for 25 minutes. It took all of about a half an hour to get the bacon to the crispiness I was looking for. Do all that you can to find vine ripened organic tomatoes. You also want to try to keep the slices to under a quarter of an inch or under six millimeters. I think the best lettuce for a BLT is butter lettuce. You have to make sure that your lettuce is thoroughly dried, no moisture on it whatsoever. I kind of like this avocado oil based mayonnaise and if I'm not gonna make my own mayo, I'll use it. But I think the best tasting commercial mayonnaise on the market is Hellman's. Unfortunately, it's made with soybean oil and I just won't use it for that reason. The fresher the bread, the better the bread. So if you could get yours from a bakery, go for it. I'm lucky enough to have one in my local community. Don't over toast the bread. And when you're putting the mayonnaise on the toast, make sure that it goes all over, including all of the edges. Do not leave the edges without mayonnaise. I add my lettuce first, which is a little unorthodox, but you'll understand why in a minute. Depending on the size of the tomato, you're gonna to add between three to four slices to the sandwich. 
I was lecturing a group of young chefs about spices and we were discussing major and minor flavors. Salt will accent the major flavor of the tomato and it's necessary because if you got the right bacon, the salt in the bacon won't add any extra saltiness to the sandwich. So you need to pull that extra major flavor from the tomato. Your bacon should be moist but very crisp not overdone. You see that foam on the bacon? That's what you're looking for. You want to see a little bit of foam on each piece of bacon. Now this is a crucial step. Before you add the bacon to the tomatoes, you have to put a little dollop of mayonnaise on the tomatoes because the mayonnaise is not going to get to the tomatoes from the slices of bread above or below. On average, you're gonna use about three slices of bacon to a sandwich, possibly four. But as you add the bacon to the sandwich, make sure that the pieces don't overlap. Spread them out, because you don't want the bacon to be crowded in one spot on the sandwich. Now here's why I put the lettuce on the bottom, because you wanna push down on the sandwich ever so slightly, releasing some of those juices to mix with the mayo and the oil from the bacon, almost like a dressing. And there you have it, Brian, the perfect, classic, simple BLT. Well, I think if you got this far, you must be a, an addict or a geek like me. <laughs> I don't think you're a geek at all, but I can't tell you how much I appreciate you being here. <laughs> I hope that's helpful. Absolutely. Brian, please stay safe. I wish you all the best to you and your family. Have a very good night and um and wake up feeling uh, a little hopeful, okay? God bless. You too, God bless you. And thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you try that BLT. It's gonna open up doors for your creativity. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you soon.